What's up everybody? This is Croat Code and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys on how to make a reaction video for absolutely free. You don't have to pay for anything. This is completely free and works for Windows or Mac, just as long as you have a computer. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you guys are going to want to do is click the link in the description and it will take you to a site called obsproject.com. Once you guys are here, you can go ahead and click download for Windows or Mac OS. Since I have Windows, I'm going to click on Windows and basically let OBS Studio download. Again, this is completely free and safe. Once you guys got it downloaded, go ahead and just click on it and then you're going to want to go ahead and click on yes. From there, just click on next and click I agree, next and lastly, click install. And from there, just let OBS Studio install. It shouldn't take you too long, at most, probably about a minute or two. So just be patient. Once you guys got that done, just click finish. And now you guys are gonna see OBS is launched right here. When you first opened up the program, you guys are gonna get a message. And that message is going to say, if you would like the program to automatically optimize settings for you. So what I recommend you guys do is click yes, but make sure you click on the option that says for recording, not for streaming. Once you guys got that done, before we do anything, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click on settings right here. From there, you guys are gonna go ahead and click on output. And on output, this is very important. On recording format, make sure you guys change this to MP4. This is very important. If you don't do this, when you're done recording, you might not be able to open up the uh, file without an external program. And when you try to put the file in a video editor, it's not going to work. So make sure you guys put it on MP4. Click Apply and then click OK. Now from here, you guys are going to go ahead and finally add your sources. So right now, you guys are looking at a black screen. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you put a desktop recorder on. To do that, underneath Sources, just right click on this, go to Add. And from there, you're going to want to go ahead and put Display Capture. And then just go ahead and click OK. Now you guys can see it's recording the display. You guys are looking at a loop right here. It's because uh, it's recording the screen, recording the screen, recording the screen. Just ignore that. It's kind of like an illusion. But go ahead and click OK. Once you guys get a display capture on, the next thing you guys are going to want to do is right click, go to add. And from there, you're going to want to go ahead and do audio output capture. And click OK. And leave it on default. Or if you're using headphones or speakers, you can go ahead and just select one. I'm going to leave it on speakers, my Bose USB audio, and click OK. What this is going to do is record the YouTube sound. So whatever you're reacting to, that audio output capture is going to record the sound from the YouTube video. It's very important you guys have that. Otherwise, you're going to run into issues and you're not going to be able to hear it. The next thing you guys are going to want to do is if you have a webcam, you're going to want to right click on it, go to add, and from there, video capture device and press OK. Now you guys can see, hey, how's it going? This is me. You can go ahead and select your webcam right here if it's not selected already. Go ahead and scroll down and you're going to want to check the box that says use custom audio device. Scroll down a little bit more and on audio device, make sure you select the microphone. If you guys have an external microphone like me, I'm using the Blue Yeti microphone. I'm going to click on it. I don't like using the webcam microphone because it does not sound good at all. So if you guys do only have a webcam mic, you can just use that. But if you do have an external microphone or headset, make sure you guys select the audio right here and click OK. There. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is on display capture on sources, go ahead and just drag this all the way up. So it's on the first list. And from there, make sure you guys are clicked on display capture. And you're going to see a red box here. Go ahead and just uh, drag this down a little bit and make it into a little box. And then you're going to want to go ahead and click on video capture device. So there's a red box around the webcam. And go ahead and, and increase this. That way it's on full screen. And once you guys got that done, you guys can go ahead and click back on the display capture. You guys can move it around. You can make it a little bit bigger or smaller. Totally up to you. So I'm going to leave it on the top left corner. And now you guys are pretty much ready to record. So before you guys do that, you're going to want to go ahead and just find the YouTube video you guys want to react to. 
in this case I'll go to youtube.com and type in any video you guys want for this tutorial that I'm showing you guys I'm going to do a copyright free audio because I don't want to react to something and get a copyright strike which you guys might ha have if you guys are recording to a music video you might get hit with a copyright strike or YouTube might mute your video it's just like that there's nothing you can really do to avoid that that's why a lot of people who have reaction channels they don't really do so well and a lot of reaction channels actually don't make any type of money because of that reason so what I'm gonna do is type in the copyright free music just for this video and I'm gonna click on the first one it's whatever so before it plays um, click back onto the OBS right here now what you're gonna wanna do is this just hit start recording and then play the video and then that's when you guys start reacting so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys an example so I'm gonna press start recording and from there I'm gonna full screen the YouTube video and play it so start recording play it full screen it and make sure you guys right here you lower the audio okay so let's play the audio okay you guys can hear it you're reacting to the video and then you can go ahead and pause and talk over the video like many people do because if you try talking over the music video or over the uh, compilation video you might not be able to hear yourself that well because the audio is loud on the YouTube video so make sure you guys turn it down a little bit and just reacting 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 you know all right and then when you guys are done just pause the video or when it's done you just end the video and just click on stop recording so once you guys got that done what you're gonna want to do is just go to a uh, file and click on show recordings right here you guys are gonna see right here here's my video so let's go ahead and double click and play it and I'm gonna show you guys real quick here's the video I muted it so just to show you guys it's on full screen and it's playing and if you guys listen okay. I'm talking over it. it you're reacting to the video and then you can go ahead and pause and talk over the video so there you guys go that's basically that you can hear me talking you can see the music video on full screen you can hear the music video and that's pretty much it so that's how you guys make a reaction video um, and with that being said I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if this really helped you out make sure you drop a like below Comment below if you guys are having any issues. I'll do my best to help you guys out. But it's pretty straightforward. It's absolutely free. And this is what many people do when they make reaction videos. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.